So the clinical signs in dogs that uh, tear their ACLs are quite variable. Uh, the uh, lameness level is variable. Uh, the onset is variable. Uh, some dogs that tear their ACL will be completely non-weight bearing. Other dogs will have intermittent but slowly worsening lamenesses, maybe to start with after exercise and then being more and more persistent. I have a, a video of a dog with a torn ACL that uh, has a fairly moderate uh, lameness and uh, this guy has a right rear lameness and barely bearing weight uh, we see as, as, uh, as they hobble down the hallway. So the, that is a fairly typical lameness in dogs with ACL tears, but again, it really varies. We see some that are only subtly lame when they come in the, in the, into the office, but at home after they chase the ball, they hold their leg up, and so it's quite a big variability. As far as the onset goes, uh, most dogs, it comes on more gradually over weeks or months. Not always. Sometimes dogs are relatively normal and then they become acutely non-weight bearing lame. So a lot of variability in that as well. And one of the other clinical signs that you'll see in, in, your, in your dog at home and we see is the inability to sit straight and square. So I ha have a little video of that, uh, of a dog that is unable to sit straight and square, which is very common in dogs that have any degree of ACL pathology or tearing. And so this is a video uh, that you'll see during the sit uh, pattern uh, is very uncomfortable. She's very uncomfortable as she sits. She can't quite get down. And then as she plops down, she puts her legs out to the side. And that is typical uh, uh, of a dog with uh, ACL problems. So, so those are some of the main clinical signs. Uh, with that in mind, I'd like to move ahead and talk about how we make the diagnosis.